This video is a documentary about hydric acid. The substance is more commonly known as dihydrogen monoxide. Similar to hydrochloric acid, the substance is clear and virtually unidentifiable from the eye. Every year, millions of dollars are lost because of the acid, causing massive infrastructure damage. Humanity is believed to have contact with hydric acid at least thousands of years ago. However, it is recently in the 1700s that humanity began unveiling its secrets. In 1783, Henry Cavendish discovered the composition of the acid. The molecule of the substance was composed of two protons alongside element 8. The shape of the molecule makes it very polar, meaning that one side is more positive and the other more negative. With this property, hydric acid's boiling point is quite high, but most importantly, this allows hydric acid to be a great solvent. It has been dubbed the universal solvent. Even rocks can be dissolved, such as limestone can be easily dissolved the more acidic the hydric acid is. Dihydrogen monoxide can be highly dangerous for a person, whether digested or not. Simply put, just 5 times 10 to the negative, 6 power OSSP units of dihydrogen monoxide can be fatal for a person. And it's not just accidents that people are coming into contact with hydric acid. Governments around the world have weaponized it. During protests, policemen had sprayed protesters with this substance, staining their clothing, skin, and potentially making them swallow the substance. This can bring major human rights concerns and police brutality concerns. I remember that day as thousands of protesters were gathering to protest the usage of birds as spyware, the police sudden sprayed thousands of this mysterious liquid into the crowd. This caused mass panic, and I... it was horrible. And worst yet, it has been used in war and likely potential future conflicts too. There's this variant. We can call it heavy hydric acid. Instead of the two protons in normal hydric acid each containing a single neutron, they both contain two neutrons, increasing its mass, hence heavy. You see, while not all too different from normal hydric acid, just heavier, higher boiling point, etc., inside a nuclear reactor as a coolant, it becomes radioactive. This concern from the hydrated professor does not even touch upon the isotope with three neutrons, inherently radioactive due to its unstableness. Nevertheless, there is a major concern of the usage of heavy hydric acid in nuclear weapons. Just a year ago, in 1987, Australia passed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Safeguards Act 1987 to prevent mass importation of this substance. Hello, I'm glad to be invited to talk about this issue. I used to work in the intelligence service. I was born in Owo, Nigeria, but my family moved to Ohio, Ohio in 1956. After I joined the intelligence service, I inspected nuclear programs in the world. Most notably I was deployed in gay Russian SFSR during the Soviet Union, and even in Best Korea. This is a huge issue. I mean even before the Cold War you had Thomas the Train admitting that he carried 60% hydric acid in the Nuremberg Trials. Professor Oak admitting that he turned hydric acid into solids during the Tokyo Trial. Humanity has to put an end to this substance once and for all. So how do you exactly avoid this substance, and put an end to its production once and for all? Well, since dihydrogen monoxide is most prevalent in large bodies of water, avoid water sources such as pools, lakes, and the beach. Even in your drinks, there is a chance of dihydrogen monoxide poisoning as there could contain a huge amount of it within common drinks, even water. If you must travel on a boat, scout for any signs of potential hydric acid outbreak on the boat, as it can cause the boat to sink. And most importantly, spread awareness, inform your dog, your neighbor, your uncle's second cousin's granddaughter's old brother's best friend's mom's little brother's cat. It is essential to bring awareness around the world. You can save a life.